G'day friends, welcome to today's video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. If you've been around here before, welcome if you're new. Um, I'm trying out intros. Let's be so real. I don't want to start this off badly. <laughs> but this is the third full voiceover I'm recording and I am committed to using this one. So if I stumble, if my sinus starts getting in the way and I take a break to sniffle or something, if I need to have a drink of this Coke Zero while we're doing it, I think I'm going to give myself permission to do all of that stuff because I've been stumbling over my words and then like third full one, but not counting like the eight smaller intros that I did because I've been trying this new thing where I think I, I should reintroduce myself every every so often just in case new people are around the channel. Um, which is terrible if this is the video that you're joining the channel on. <laughs> uh, but I, I thought, look, well, new people are around and I never introduce myself, so I, I shouldn't take for granted that someone might not know who I was or what I was doing. So I just keep reminding myself to do it. But I can never find a cute little intro and I've tried a bunch of different things, but they all just sound so try hard. So I was like, oh, just be just be normal. Just say hello. So I've done that, and now I'm exposing myself for how many times I've done the voiceover. I'll, I'll just be candid with you, because like that is the conversation we're getting to today, so I might as well be, um, considering that's one of my struggles. <laughs> oh, this conversation is going to be interesting. Um, I The first voiceover I did, I was actually just bored out of my brains. Like, it was so boring. There was literally zero points of interest in that voiceover. So I, I ditched it because I thought, you know what? There's no point to this. Like, it's already a lot to watch what's going on, but to hear someone just moan in the background, like, I'm over it. So then I ditched that one. The second one I did, I got right to the end, and then I kind of had this, like, sinus attack where I don't even think my nose was working anymore, and I was just, I was so nasal. And my accent at the moment is already kind of, I have no better way to explain this, but like a mongrel hybrid accent between Australian and American. Now, I never really had a strong Australian accent to begin with. Some people seem to think I did, but I don't. <laughs> it's only, I think it gets a lot thicker if I've just talked to my mum on the phone or if I've just watched Kath and Kim. Um... Maybe Summer Heights High as well, but then I don't think I go Australian. I think I just go Jamey. So though, that's my Australian accent. The American stuff, I've picked up a bunch of ways to say things or certain words because I, I don't like being misunderstood when I'm talking. So a lot of my R's, I've just learned to say them here in, in, in that I would never have said them before. So I can hear it a lot in my own voice and I don't like it. And then pair that with this breakdown of my nose. Like I am just nasal at this point and it's irritating me it's i've been like this for two weeks now if i've not if it's not completely congested and behind my eyeballs it's just like nasal drip and i don't i don't know what to do so <sighs> there you go <laughs> that's me being candid oh and the last one get this i was having a talk about being candid because i thought oh this is a great topic that i should probably talk about um because I, I think i have some things to share and maybe i'm um, it's not fully thought through but it, Having just done that last voiceover, I think I got a, a good bit of preparation for myself for this one. <laughs> I ended up saying things that I wouldn't probably talk about typically, and then went on to talk about one in depth, at length, and very problematic. Like, I was doing it and I thought, oh, and then I tried to save myself and tried to like come up with reasoning behind what I just said. And I was like, oh, just delete it. Like, I don't need to put that out there. It was like I was trying to fight to, you know... It was a, like something had gone wrong and I was using PR to like save myself. It was just so ridiculous. So I turned it off and I've started it again. Um, fun fact, I was talking about religion. So <laughs> uh, probably not a surprise that it went pretty quickly to something uh, heavy. But I, um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get into that later. Because it's not like I don't want to talk about it and I have no problem talking about it. I just think I was starting to talk a bit of nonsense and it was just a lot for me to handle in my own voiceover. So I deleted it. Goodbye, three voiceovers. This is a 20 minute video too. So I'm, I've been chatting to no one for about an hour now. Um, that's, that's how odd this is. <laughs> I'm still ready though. I'm still here. I'm still standing. Oh, I saw Rocket Man in the theaters. Very um, interesting movie. I will say everyone I've talked to seems to have loved it. I, I didn't care for parts of it. So other parts I thought were really well done. Overall, I was like, yeah, it was good. I didn't, wouldn't like run back to see it. I don't know. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but yeah, that um, Taron Egerton, he did a good job. I, I love the costumes. The costumes were great. Anyway, uh, I'm collaging today. Very quick explanation of what's going on. I just wanted to have a bit of a play with a lot of the paper scraps that I've been collecting. 
uh, or quote unquote hoarding. It's not hoarding if it ends up in a journal, ladies. <laughs> um, oh, I was wearing that jumper today. I was wearing my own Amazon merch. I know because I'm just that woman. And I was wearing the jumper and a tote bag that said it on, uh, on the tote as well. So I've just been really spreading that message far and wide today. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's coming full circle with this video. Uh, I did this video in two parts. I collaged one day and let it all dry. And then, uh, I used one of them to create a piece at the end. So you'll see me do some like, uh, very mixed media. I think I threw every medium I had at the piece that I did at the end. And I was using my collage stamp set, um, uh, my concept stamp set, I should say collage stamping with my concept stamp set. Wow. Um, that's what I was doing at the end, just because I, I did it on the weekend and I've actually had a lot of fun doing it lately. So I just wanted to try it again. In fact, I think this was probably exactly the same technique I did last week with just a lot of a different result. Uh, but yeah, just enjoy the uh, collage if you want. There's a lot of different collage styles I was playing with. I, uh, I didn't really feel the need to do a tutorial on any of this today because if I was going to do a tutorial, I'd be much more in depth about it. And, uh, and I just wanted to have fun. Sometimes I create videos with a specific intention to teach something or relay information and other times I just create them because I'm about to have some fun and I turn the video on. And I think it's fun to share both because it's a very different creative process in each of those uh, moments and then completely different when the camera's off as well. So it's a lot harder to catch that because technically the camera has to be off. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, maybe I should get those security cameras installed and just like steal footage from them. I don't I have no idea. Stupid idea, but um, you know, it's really interesting. Sometimes I wish I could really capture what I'm like when the camera's off because uh, it's a lot slower, actually. It's a lot more um, indulgent in certain areas. It's a lot more illustration. A lot of what I do off camera is just illustrating and coloring and... Um, you know, fun stuff like that. I think I do a lot of it on camera as well, but when I've got the camera on, I've always got an idea of what's going on. Like I'm, I'm never not aware of the camera and it's always got to happen within like an hour to two hours because I, I have so much footage to edit. It'll be way too much. Like, I'm not going to say that actually. Sometimes there's been like, um, some of those studio vlogs have had like six hours worth of footage that I've had to edit through. Um, which I stopped doing the studio notes <laughs> videos. <laughs> they were just a lot. Like, I didn't even do those on my phone. I did those on um, like the DSLR. That's what I use that camera for because I use my phone to film all my uh, bird's eye videos for my channel. So it was it was a lot. I actually really love them. Sometimes I go back and just watch them because I think it's fun. And now that I'm in the new space, I think I should do another one. But I think I'll save it for um, Playtest Patreon this year. Playtest 2, I should say. Uh, which I scanned all of these collages for. So I'm not going to say they will be in there, but I'm not going to say they won't be in there. All I'm saying is that I know Playtest 2 is coming up in, I think, August, I've decided. Um, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I think uh, that'll come up in August. So everything I'm doing up until then, I've been, you know, scanning and saving and formatting and putting it all away so that by the time it comes, it'll just be like an attack of content and fun stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, that's I'm excited for that. Let's have a chat. Um, before we get started, this, this whole conversation kind of stemmed off of something uh, just really briefly I heard over the weekend and uh, the weekend workshops that we had. If you don't know, we went up north to uh, Los Gatos, to the island's creative escape, and we taught workshops and had a meetup over the weekend. It was so, so, so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you times a million to everyone that was there, um, to the store, to also people that had well wishes online for a great weekend. I think we had literally, I mean, just as much fun as you would expect that we were having. And it's always so great to be able to be in person with people and to have that connection that, you know, look eye to eye, share stories, uh, share excitement for things that, you know, a lot of other people maybe not get excited about in your life. And I, uh, I, I really can't thank you enough for that. It is just so humbling to be in your presence and have the opportunity to share uh, what I love so much with you. And uh, I want to thank you for that. So Sorry, my nose is literally going on the most sentimental part of my video. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm so sorry. That's just awful. Okay, I uh, but I just, I wanted to say thank you because I it, I've said this last year and I I kind of echo the same thoughts that I had last year. Uh, it, it's such a visual accountability to what it really is to be a creator online and to to remember that you have people on the other end that are full. 360 degrees of a human being and sometimes we share just the most you know pleasant uh, little online interaction sometimes I know a lot about your story and you know a lot about my story and we we share all of these relationships that are are so 
connected online, but to actually meet in person and and have that experience, I think is is just super special, and it it really it, it really puts everything into perspective for me, and it really did shift last year how I approached and uh, came back to content creation after those workshops. Uh, the first time that I taught in person, I think it really uh, it really laid a lot of accountability. Uh, onto my shoulders, which is good. I, I work really well with that accountability and I need it uh, because it's a super important thing to be mindful, to be thoughtful about what you're doing and how you're doing it and the way it's coming across. And you can't control all of those variables, but you can absolutely do your best. And I think when people uh, see that you're doing your best, they're a lot more forgiving. If you are perhaps um, like messing up in a few areas, if you've accidentally said something you shouldn't have said. Uh, I, I believe that if people's true intentions are good, they will come through. And uh, even if they don't, you'll have an opportunity to show that because it will just make sense to people. And um, I'm someone that's always kind of worried about stuff like that. So uh, one of the most validating uh, parts of that experience for me is when I get to meet people and there's no there's no like real delineation between the person they thought I was and the person that they're meeting uh, in real life. Because, you know, I myself, I'm so sorry, my nose. I've, uh, I've had a lot of interactions with people online and even online, I've come to know that some people are just not the way they present themselves at all. And it can be quite confronting. It can be quite scary. Um, but then I've also had people that I've met online that when you meet in person, they're exactly the same and it, it puts you at ease. It makes you feel like you weren't crazy for liking that person or you weren't like, you know, you weren't, you weren't seeing something that you, that no one else was seeing. Like, um, I've, I've met people before that truly fit their bill. And I think that's a, a, a more easy experience to step into. And it's something that I hope, uh, a lot of people, if not every person that I get to meet, uh, feels that kind of comfort in knowing that I am just the same way, uh, in real life. Of course, there's still, uh, you know, as much as there's a 360 degree view of every person that I, I have connections with online and maybe have never met or talked to before, there's the same for me too. Like I'm the same whole person behind this microphone, behind this computer screen, your phone screen. And there's a lot of my own personal experience that I share. And there's a lot that I don't share. And ever since I was, um, going online, I've been really mindful of that, uh, more for my own protection. But I think throughout time, I started to flip that perspective. And especially when I was with people in person, I started to think, you know, it's actually more important to do this for the people that are watching. It's more important. It, it, you know, it's great that you get to protect yourself, you know, win-win. Uh, but to be mindful about what you're sharing and, and in what ways you get candid with people uh, to make sure that you're not leaving them worse off than when they came to your video. Like, uh, misery loves company and I don't need any more guests at my sympathy soiree. <laughs> you know, I don't want people to sit here and, and if you've had a bad day to sit here and listen to me whinge all day long so that you go off feeling even worse or, or perhaps even more justifiably angry about something. And, you know, I don't, I don't think it's a positive thing to leave people with. That's not to say you can't share personal stuff. And I've definitely shared some personal things before. Uh, but there's a, or there's always a mindful way to do it. There's always a way to do it. I think that would leave people with uh, resolve or understanding or um, that is just careful and thoughtful for the people that are across the screen because um, you know a lot of this there, there's so many temptations in this I think I think maybe if you're not creating content online uh, some of those temptation temptations might not be obvious to you but uh, I think one of the things that I see people start to struggle with you know once once a following starts to build uh, I've noticed in the past I've even noticed this of, of my own struggle as well um, a lot of those comments and those positive comments and like, let's be real. There are so many more positive ones than there are negative ones. Uh, and the negative ones can take you down a peg or two, but the positive ones can really give you an inflated sense of what's going on. Um, if too many people are saying like, yes, queen, like work, you do the best, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it's great that I love a good compliment, but if, if you're really taking that to heart and then you start to believe a lot of it and instead of checking in with yourself and the ways you feel about, uh, what you're doing and how you're doing, uh, compared to your own goals, if you're just letting everyone else inflate your ego, uh, it's probably one of the first ways that I see people take themselves down. And it's not just, uh, in fact, it's a lot, not a lot to do with what we do here in our little niche corner of the world, but I've seen this in, uh, beauty influencers and I'm, I'm girl, I'm all up on the drama. Like I've watched every single beauty drama channel that there is. And then some, <laughs> like, um, you know, there are certain 
there are certain complications that arise when you enter this space. And because it's all kind of a new space, like this hasn't been around for ages, uh, I think a lot of people are still unaware. And if you're not the type of person to check in with yourself at those moments and keep yourself accountable to something, uh, you can find yourself slipping down a very slippery slope, you know, really quickly. So I, I guess all of that to say accountability, I love to be accountable to the fact that I am the same person when you meet me as the person that you might perceive me to be online. I played that game of assumptions on Instagram the other day, which is actually quite revealing because uh, it, it taught me a lesson in the fact that, you know, not everyone has seen everything that I've put out there on, on YouTube. So some people know part of the story, but not all of it. And then it also taught me a lot about what, what it does to people's perceptions of you um, when you're in charge of what they see. And that is super crazy to me. And I think that's what led into this kind of idea about being candid um, I have, I put out there what I'm comfortable to put out there. And a lot of it is just humorous or it's lighthearted and it, it leaves you, you know, at the very worst, I feel like it leaves you the same way you turned up to the video, but hopefully never worse. <laughs> um, I like to think that I leave people a little happier than when they, uh, first came to the video, but if not, at least leaving with the same temperament. I think, um, at, at the same time, you might be tempted to think that I have things more together than I do, or that I maybe am kinder than I am, or that I'm more thoughtful than I am, or, uh, you know, I have my own ideas about myself, and I've, I've have, you know, ideas that are fed to me by other people, uh, but it was just really interesting in those assumptions to hear some of the ones that people uh, repeated over and over again that had these same assumptions about the way that I was that weren't particularly accurate, accurate. And, uh, and I did answer some of them and sometimes I had to be a little humorous about it because I actually felt super confronted about it. And that's when I started to notice like, wow, I don't think I am as candid as people might think that I am. I, I feel candid because I'm sitting in front of a computer screen with a microphone, just chatting into it. Like there's no script here, but at the same time, I've deleted three voiceovers before you're getting this one. And I've committed to myself to putting this one up there because I, I do need to be accountable to just a candid voiceover. And just for my own sanity today, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't keep deleting it until something funnier and lighter comes along. It would be great if it did, but I actually think this is an important conversation that I've never really had before. So um, I, I think it, I guess it all led to this point. I'm glad that it did. But yeah, I kind of, uh, I got the one thing that in person that I am a, a little bit more candid. And I honestly think that's just because I don't have the ability to edit it. And and I think that might be true of a lot of people on the internet. And if that's a thought that I could leave you with today, uh, perhaps knowing that everything you see, someone had control over you seeing. Uh, some people might not be as thoughtful as that, but some people are incredibly thoughtful like that. Some people craft a, an entire life, uh, pardon the pun, I guess, for a mixed media channel. <laughs> uh, but some people can, can really create a perception for you. Whilst it's never been my, uh, my goal to do that, I do think that by focusing on a lot of what makes me happy or a lot, what a lot, a lot of, uh, what brings me joy or makes me laugh or, uh, you know, really filtering through some of my, my more personal things. Uh, I think in doing that, I have inevitably just created a, uh, a persona that people perceive to be a lot more, um, a lot more happy and kind and like joyful than maybe I particularly think I am. <laughs> I will say, I mean, I'm not going to lie. These last few years have actually had kind of the worst time I've ever had in my life, but it, it didn't stop me from having fun at the same time. Like I, um, I, I know this is how I got onto faith in my last voiceover, but I'll briefly touch on it now. I have no problem saying that I'm a Christian. I live uh, a life of faith in, uh, in, in my beliefs in Christianity and that, uh, I'm accountable to a set of rules and standards and a moral compass and, you know, all the good stuff that comes along with having a faith. I think, um, as a believer like that, I do believe that even through those hardships, uh, they can be used for, for good teaching, good learning. They can be used for outreach and understanding, uh, but that I can still experience true joy, even in those moments that are really, really difficult. So, um, I, I don't want you to think that I'm actually a sad person. I'm not, I'm really happy a lot of the time, uh, but truly candidly, uh, I do, I, I do make sure that I put across a more positive version of myself, but, uh, in the future, who knows, maybe I'll just lash out at everyone. <laughs> Could you imagine? That's what I've taken away from this weekend. I need to be nastier. I need to be more upset. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I, I really enjoyed this candid chat. I have to wrap it up because the video is ending now. Possibly I'll uh, maybe retouch on this in the future and, and see how we go. But uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.